Hello, we're going to do a maths cast now on compound interest and we're going to look at a exam style questions. So let's begin. The first thing we need to make sure we can do is using a calculator, we want to be able to work out a question like this. We want to be able to increase £200 by 6% using a calculator. So if we think about it, if it's gone up by 6%, we're adding 6% to the original number. So if we start with 100% and we add 6%, then we get 106%. Now we can't actually do this on a calculator without first changing it to a decimal. So in order to change it into a decimal, we need to divide that number by 100. If we do 106 divided by 100, remember we can use a calculator to do this, we will get 1.06. Now 1.06 is the important number for this question because if I want to increase 200 pound by 6%, all I need to do is times it by the 1.06. So I would do 200 times 1.06 and if you do this on a calculator, it will give you £212, which is the answer. So this is how to do percentages questions using a calculator. Let's do another example to make sure you get it. If I want to increase £4,000 by 2.5%, then I need to firstly work out what this decimal number is going to be. So I'm increasing, so I'm adding it on. So we start with 100% and we add on 2.5%, this gives us 102.5%. I need to change that into a decimal to be able to work out the question. So to change that into a decimal, we divide by 100, and in this case, it gives us 1.025. So 1.025 is the important number in this question. So all we've got to do to work out the answer is times. So we start with our £4,000 and we're going to times it by our decimal, 1.025. And just type that into a calculator, press equals, and that will give us the answer of £4,100. So it's really easy to increase a number by a percentage using a calculator. We just add it on change it into a decimal, and then times it. So we're going to use this to be able to do more complicated compound interest questions. So let's start with this first example. I'm going to read it out. I have £600 in a bank at 4% compound interest for three years. How much will I have at the end? Well, what this means is every year the amount of money that I've got in the bank is increasing by 4%. So let's work out what that decimal needs to be. If it's going up by 4%, if we start with 100% and add on 4%, then we get 104%. I need to change that into a decimal by dividing by 100. That will give us the decimal of 1.04. So that's the number I'm going to times by. So in the first year, we start with £600, and we're going to times it by 1.04, because that's how you increase by 4%. That gives us £624. So at the end of the first year, we've got £624. I need to do that again, because this is a three-year question. So let's do that again. In the second year, well, this time I'm starting with £624, but I'm still increasing by 4%, so it's times by 1.04. Now we need to type that into a calculator to work out the answer. And that gives us £648.96. So that's how much we have after two years. We need to do it one more time, because as I said, it's a three-year question. So in the third year, we start with £648.96, 
and we times by our 1.04. Again, we need to type that into a calculator, times 1.04, and that gives us an answer of £674.92. £674.92. So after three years, you would have £674.92. Right, we're going to do one more example now of a slightly different compound interest question, slightly more complicated, but we've noticed that these type of questions are coming up in the exam more often. So the question says, I invest £200 in a savings account for two years. In the first year, I get 3.2% interest. In the second year, I get 4% interest. How much will I have after two years? So what you can see about this question is it's different. Each year, you're going to be doing a different calculation. So in the first year, it's going up by 3.2%. So we start with our 100% and we add on our 3.2%. That gives us 103.2%. We need to change that into a decimal by dividing by 100. That gives us 1.032. So in the first year, that's the number we're going to times by. So in the first year, we start with £200, and we're going to times it by our number we've worked out for the first year, 1.032. And if we type that in on a calculator, we'll get an answer of 200 and six pound forty. So after one year, we would have two hundred and six pound forty. Now the second year, we need to do it differently, because in the second year, it's four percent interest. So we're going to work out now what to times by. So we start with a hundred percent, and we add on four percent. That gives us a hundred and four percent change that into a decimal, that will give us 1.04 because we have to divide by 100. So in the second year, we're going to times by 1.04. So we start with our £206.40 and we times by 1.04 and we type that into a calculator, so £206.40. Times gives us an answer of £214.66. So it's £214.66. So after two years, we'd have £214.66p. But what you notice about this question is you had two different percentages, so you had to make sure you did each year separately. Right, I've got some practice questions now for you to have a go at. So there's three practice questions on the board. If you pause the video, because I'm going to reveal the answers afterwards. So pause the video. I'm now going to reveal the answers. Here are the answers. So if you need any more help with that, please go and find your maths teacher. Thank you.